você vai ver o melhor da capoeira. When it comes to well-known and beloved Tekken characters, Eddie Gordo is surely close to the top of the list. He's making his return in Tekken 8 as the first DLC character, and I got a chance to get an early look at him with a whole rundown of his moves explained to me by Bandai Namco's own esports manager, Alex Julio. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to know to both play as Eddie and the knowledge that you'll need to go up against him. One of the main takeaways that I learned from Alex about this new iteration of Eddie is that he's much more of a mix-up heavy character than he was in the past. You'll notice right here that he's got this symbol under his life bar that shows a new mechanic for Eddie. Certain moves will add a Medinga counter, and once he's got a charge of Medinga, he gains new moves in his handstand stance that give him some powerful 50-50 mix-ups. We'll get to those specifically a little bit later. What hasn't changed about Eddie is that he's still very beginner-friendly. To that end, if you mash left kick, you'll get a high damage auto combo that transitions into his stances, is hard to block, and dangerous to try and interrupt if you don't know when it's safe to. Of course, if you do know where those gaps are, it's not really a big deal. Simply use a quick mid when he goes into a stance switch, or you can duck the fourth hit of the combo, which is a high. That said, if you're new to Tekken and want respectably damaging combos with a low bar of execution and without having to switch to the special style, you can just pick Eddie, launch them, mash kick, and watch the fireworks. Alright, so let's go over some of Eddie's most notable moves and talk about what's special about them. 1-2 is a simple jab combo that serves as Eddie's 10 frame punish and leaves him at plus 8 on hit, but if you hold forward, it goes into his handstand stance at plus 3. If you'd rather go into his negativa stance, you can instead do 1-3, which is plus 7 on hit. 2-3 is Eddie's 12 frame punish, and it's a good one, as it goes directly into his handstand stance at plus 8. If you've got a Medinga charge saved up, that's a free 50-50 mix-up situation that your opponent is going to have to deal with. For his 13 frame punish, Eddie's got down forward 1-3. This is a natural combo that wall stuns and tornadoes. It's extremely useful both as a punish and as a key part of Eddie's combo routing. Down forward 2 is a safe 14 frame punish that knocks down on counter hit and is also very useful even outside of just being a punisher. This is a very solid 14 frame mid that's safe on block and plus 5 on hit. Most notable about it is that it's got a ton of pushback on block, so if they try to take their turn back, you can potentially anticipate it with a back dash and then whiff punish. Back 3-4 is Eddie's power crush, and it's a really good one. It's 20 frames, but it's a heat engager, hits from crazy far away, and it's only minus 7 on block. Down back 4-4 four, four is a mid-high combo that's a natural combo, so if the first hit lands, the second hit is guaranteed. This is a very important combo for Eddie, as it's one of his moves that increases his Medinga level, so you'll definitely want to use it as a combo ender. It's safe on block at minus 9, but the second hit is duckable and launch punishable. Eddie's standing 4 is a great 13 frame mid poke with a follow up. 4-4 four, four is a safe heat engager, but it's interruptible after the first hit with a jab. That said, if you think they're going to interrupt, you can call that out by ducking after the block 4 and then launch punish. Eddie's sidestepping 3-4 is a returning launcher, and it's pretty great. It's a 14 frame safe launcher, and even though both hits are high and it can be ducked under, the timing to punish it is awkward since Eddie is still moving to the side. Even after being told to wait for Eddie to land, I still kind of struggled to punish it consistently. And if you miss the punish, you're going to get punished right back. Back 2-4 is another natural combo that can knock down and wall stuns. Back 2 is a mid itself with a 15 frame startup, but it's safe on block and plus 3 on hit. Note, however, that the second hit is a duckable high, and it's also interruptible with a jab. Up forward 4 is a safe mid-hitting tracking move that low crushes, and is one of his best ways to go into negativa, because on hit, he's at plus 12. Eddie's slash kick on running 3 is about what you would expect. It's a running mid that leaves Eddie at plus 8 on block. The big thing to note though is that when it's blocked, he has to go into handstand stance. Now let's cover some of Eddie's most notable low attacks. Forward forward 3 is just one of many of Eddie's very strong lows. This one puts him into negativa stance on hit, and on counter hit, he gets a guaranteed heat engager with 4-3 out of negativa, or he can use his crouch throw, which also gets him a heat engager. It's minus 13 on block, so you won't die too badly even if it is blocked. 
From Crouch, down four is Eddie's old down four, and there's not a ton to say about it other than it's a very solid low poke that's quite fast at 13 frames. It's launch punishable though, and minus four on hit, so just keep those two things in mind. Down forward four is a far reaching low poke that's 18 frames on startup, and leaves Eddie at plus zero if it hits, and minus 13 if it's blocked. Down three is a slower low at 21 frames, but it has the added benefit of knocking down on counter hit. It's minus 14, so it's a bit more punishable than down forward four and forward forward three. And then you've got down back three, which is even slower at 28 frames, also knocks down on counter hit, but it is plus five on hit and does a sizable chunk of damage. Now let's talk in a little more detail about Eddie's stances and his Medinga counter. Eddie has three moves that give him a Medinga charge. Handstand 2-3, Negativa 3-3, three, three, and down back 4-4. Four, four. He can hold up to two charges, and having two charges will add some extra properties to some of his moves, like giving them a knockdown, or more frame advantage on hit, or more damage, but even just having one charge is enough to give him access to mix-ups in his handstand stance. With one charge of Medinga from handstand, Eddie can do back four, which is a mid that's plus six on block and can transition into negativa by holding down. And he also has three four, which is a bit faster at 21 frames, hits low, and leaves him at plus four on hit. The low is punishable on block and the mid is sidesteppable, so there's counterplay to each, but it has to be a hard callout. Also worth noting that at level two, both these moves will knock down. As for his negativa stance, there is a big low that you have to watch out for, and that is while in negativa 3-3. Eddie's hell sweep in negativa 3-3 is something worth fearing. It's a big gamble at minus 26 on block, but if it lands at close range, it does big damage, gets a knockdown, and gives him a Medinga counter. Note that the first hit must be a clean hit in order for the second hit to combo. If it doesn't, you leave yourself open at minus 13. Finally, to close this all out, here are a handful of combos shown to me by Alex for Eddie. This is by no means a comprehensive list of everything that Eddie can do, just my takeaways from about an hour and a half's worth of playing with him and talking about the character with Alex. Hopefully it's helpful. If it is, let me know. I'm really trying to up the quality and scope of fighting game coverage here at IGN, and your feedback is very appreciated. Thanks for watching, and for everything else, keep it here on IGN.